Hey, Court Reporters, welcome back to my channel. You know, I really got to do something about the decor here. It looks like I'm in a closet or something like that. You know how small Parisian apartments are. You got to make do with what you have, but I do need to decorate this. Make it a little sexy, a little jazzy. Anyway, uh, sad news <laughs> coming out today. Former teen mom OG star Farrah Abraham apparently set her apartment on fire by accident by leaving a candle unattended. You guys, candles are cute. Candles are sexy. Candles set the mood. But candles can also burn down your house. So definitely make sure to pay attention. Um, I can't even judge her because I have fallen asleep with a candle on. Luckily, someone else turned the candle off or blew the candle out, but I fell asleep with that thing running. Okay. So I cannot even blame old girl. It happens. Okay. So let's get into the story. This is an exclusive from the sun.com. So, um, they managed to confirm with the Texas fire department. And I feel kind of dumb for not even knowing that Farrah was back in Texas all this time. I thought she was still living in California. She really does like to bounce uh, between the two States. So, they're saying that in September, Farrah's luxury Austin property went up in flames after a lit candle ignited her patio furniture. The Austin Fire Department confirmed that they responded to Farrah's home at around 12.30 a.m., half past midnight, almost, uh, well, actually, two months, almost two months ago on September 9th. And uh, their report claims that the fire was caused by a candle being knocked over and um, setting a chair on fire. Oh, my God, how scary. On the patio, too. Ah! And he's so spooked. Uh, so the Austin Fire Department said that the fire was an accident and no investigator was called to the scene. I have to ask, have any of you guys had like any kind of incidents with candles? Like, were you careless like me? Have you fallen asleep with a candle being lit? Um, have you accidentally knocked a candle over? Has your pet's tail caught on fire due to a candle or anything like that? Make sure to let me know. Let's talk about it in the comment section because candles are just... <laughs> They're a lot more dangerous than they seem, right? Like they're nice. They smell good. They set an ambiance, but they definitely can be quite dangerous, unfortunately. Um, so apparently it hasn't been that long that Farrah has been living in Texas again. So she moved in in early August in that building in particular. Oh, and it turns out that she left the candle unattended when she went inside and fell asleep. So I'm wondering how it got knocked over. Was it the wind or something like that that caused it to get knocked over? Curious. So... A source uh, close to the situation says, and I quote, that her patio furniture caught fire and set off the uh, sprinkler systems. The fire department was called and part of the building was evacuated at approximately half past midnight. You guys, I'd be so pissed as a like longtime condo dweller. I'd be so pissed if I had to evacuate my home my apartment in the middle of the night because someone fell asleep with their candle on and it caught a fire. I, I think that's happened like once or twice where in the middle of the night, and this was when I was living in Canada, but in the middle of the night, like having to evacuate like a, a high rise apartment because something was going on with the neighbors. Ugh, it's the worst. It's the worst. I can't wait to have a house y'all. I'm so tired of apartment living. It's nice. It's convenient being in the center of everything, but I would love to have a country house for sure to kind of have some peace and quiet and space and greenery. So, um, yes, apparently, uh, there's 13 year old teen daughter, Sophia was in the apartment at the time of the fi uh, fire. And fortunately, neither she nor, um, Farrah were actually injured by any of it. You know, it was just a freak accident. I wonder who noticed it, who noticed the fire before it got huge or anything like that, before it like took out her entire patio. Um, this really is a lucky story for Farrah that like she fell asleep, the candle started causing a fire in her balcony and the firefighters were able to make it in time before anything super bad happened. She was not harmed. Her daughter was not harmed. Um, their pets were not harmed either. The neighbors were not harmed. Thank God. Um, guys, are you surprised about this story? Or is this kind of, you know, something you would expect from Farrah Abraham? Let me know. And if you have any experiences with candles gone wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.